There's actually a term for it, the gray side. <laughs> I've gone to the gray side. What's interesting about this show is it's one architect. This is the first time where I'm just diving so deep into one person. One of the things with Eileen Gray is every time I scratched at one thing, it became a whole line of inquiry, right? Like looking into just one piece of furniture, all these stories started unfolding. So a great example of that would be E1027. E1027 was a house that she made with her then lover, Jean Badovici, in 1926. The house itself is remarkable. E1027 also became a sort of cautionary tale, if you will. It was this great masterpiece, and then somebody else came in and was like, I'll take credit for that, thanks. The way that I really started looking at the show was to look at what is her legacy, right? What is, what is it she left us with? We have the architecture is going to be represented in the wall drawing, which is a mashup of her realized and unrealized architecture. We have the furniture represented in the two sculptures. And then the incorporating her rug works via embroidery. Then there was something about the watercolor that really resonated. It's the, the permanence, the impermanence, that it's there, it's not there, that it's solid and then it's diffused. That absolutely felt very much like a metaphor for her life and her work. Her story resonated with me because as a woman in the art world, I'm painfully aware of equity issues that are going on. And it's not just, you know, it's, it's equity issues for everybody other than white men throughout our history. So this has been something that I've been working on for some time conceptually and then also as a social practice project. The project is called Nappy Here. Ultimately, it was a flash mob of women artists and it made a point because seeing is believing, right? Like no gallery or curator in Los Angeles could then say, well, there just aren't any women artists. You can't look at that photo and, and use that as an excuse. For my colleagues, for my fellow artists, my hope is that maybe they'll start thinking about what is their legal legacy, what is their archival legacy, because her work wasn't superstar at the time, but man, it's fantastic, and I'm so glad we have it. Like, what is the legacy of the show? The legacy of her show is her ideas, and that's our legacy as artists, too. Our, your ideas can continue throughout time, but they only continue if they're kept alive. An idea disappears if nobody keeps it alive.